the next speaker for the day, which is Mr. Ovi King. So the founder of Hair Care Revolution and president of the Afro Hair and Beauty Association. He's been involved in business since he was nine years old. He started selling skateboards and sweets at primary school and never looked back. He's got a personal interest in hair and beauty industry, comes from wanting to use the skills and resources that he's created for a major economic change in our community, locally and globally. Can we have a big round of applause for Mr. Ovi King? Good, good early eve, good early evening, late afternoon to everyone. How, how are we feeling so far today? How's the energy in, in the room? Have we had a good day? Can't, can't hear me, mic check, mic check. Hello? One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, can, can, is, is that better? Can, can you hear me? No, okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. Selector. One, two, one, two. Everything's low, innit? That's, that's on the highest. One, two, one, two. Mic check, mic check. Can you hear me out that there? Is that good? One, no, two. still not good. One, two. Can you hear me now? <laughs> one, one, one. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me now? Are we good? Muffled. Okay, cool. I, I will try my best to project my voice and spread, spread the gospel of what now is the hair care revolution. Is, is that my clicker? Thank you very much. Okay, oh, okay everyone. So... Um, I am Ovi King, as, as I was just introduced, I am the president of the Afro Hair and Beauty Association. Association. I'm also the founder of the, one of the best events in this country, in this town, which is called Hair Care Revolution. In case you, you, you haven't heard of us, please check, check us out. We're doing amazing things. We're, we're supporting independent brands and provide, providing a platform for some of the best Afro Hair and Beauty talent in our community. So, our vision, just, just, just quickly before I get into the presentation, our vision is to really gain dominance of, of this hair and beauty industry that, that we have. For far too long, um, we've allowed um, our, our industry to be, to be controlled by others who do not have our best interests at heart. And now I propose to you, it's time for change. It's time, it's time for change. And, this, and, and this, is, this is what I'm about. And this is what our team and our, our operation is definitely about. <laughs> okay, so I've got some bags to give, up, give, give, up, give away. They're down here for anyone. I've got a couple of questions to ask in this presentation so if if people can get the questions correct please feel, feel free afterwards to come and grab a bag and i will let, I, I i will gladly off, offer that to you right let's get let's let's get into it i'm going to break down to today the current situation in our hair and beauty industry where we've come from where where we currently are and hope hopefully with your help and support and, I'm, and, I'm, and, and I mean that as from, from the community where we can go next. Before we can talk about now, now though, we need to talk about the past. Where did this all come from? How did this, be, how did this begin? There was, th there was the about us, okay. Quick, quick, quick brief there, what we do. Hair care revolution is about the people, as I mentioned. Let's talk, let's, talk, let's talk about the industry. Where have we come from? We the black... Let me grab, let me, let me grab this, this will be easier. We the black community started 
this Afro hair and beauty industry in this country. country. Some of some of some of you may may be too young to to, to remember to remember this, but this this is the facts. We actually we actually we were the first people in the country to bring products in, to go go to the states and start bringing them back in and create crazy things like suit suitcases and go knocking on people's doors to to, to sell products and and offer our services. We set up all the shows. We used to do the photography. We were very much involved in the, the development of, of our own industry because at that time, nobody else gave much of a damn about our hair. These young gentlemen here, not, not so young, young anymore, are three men from North London who I take my hat, my hat off to. These are, the found, these are the founding fathers of the Afro hair and beauty industry in the UK. The first black UK million millionaires in this country. Did you hear me? I think that, I, I, I think that deserves a round, a round of applause. They, they had the courage, the strength, and the determination to, to pull their resources together and set up the, the industry that, that we currently have today. Many of you that are under the age of 40, of, of 40 may not know or have, or have heard, of, heard of the name Dyke and, Dry, Dyke and Dryden. So to, to give you a quick, quick brief about who these legends, these titans of the UK industry are and what, what they were able to accomplish, I'm going to give you a couple of quick pointers. They, start, they started to sell hair in 1963. For the young people in the room, the TV was black and white at the time. <laughs> black and white t TV time, there were black men running around, import, imp importing hair products and do doing all, kind, all, all kinds of amazing stuff. They were able to set, set up a national and international distribution network up and down this country and all around the globe to sell hair hair care stuff that some some of which they made here themselves they were the first to have their own independent independent black hair care brand in this country in this country they believe it or not are the founding fathers of the afro hair and beauty show a lot of people don't know don't don't know that they they had the show until 2003 before they sold, they sold it to the current own, owner, who is not black at the, mo the moment. A lot of people don't know that either. And we can take one of the questions is, what country is the, uh, is the new owner from to win a bag? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm, jo I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> so um, another fact about Dyke, Dyke, Dyke and Dryden, which must be shared, is that there's a famous and well-loved store that I'm sure everyone in here loves and, loves and adores. The store is called Pax. Who's, who's heard of Pax? Yeah? Everybody, everybody knows Pax. What would you say if I told you this? And this, this, this is crazy that we don't, we don't know the history of the things that we walk past every, every day. Pax used to be owned by these these gen these gentlemen here. They sold their stores two packs years ago, and their dis and the international dis distribution network, which has made Pack become the giant monster la largest hair and beauty operator in the country. So it it was black owned once once upon a time. Believe it or not. Oh, we know the stories. <laughs> okay, so the reason, the reason I, w I wanted to share, share, share that with, with you because it shows, it, it, shows, it shows us clearly that we have the ability, the creativity, and the skills to dominate our, our own industry because by right, once upon a time, it was ours. And, and by right, it should be ours again. For sure. Yeah. 
the, blue, the blueprint, the know-how, and the skills are available. Like this, this, is, this isn't some, something new. This is not some new tech, technology, technology. The customers are our family members, our friends, our cousins, our sisters, our, work, our, our workmates. This is, this is more than achieve, achievable for those that care and want, 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 want to dominate our industry. We can, we can do it. They've, give, they've given us a blueprint, and I'm glad, glad to say um, what, one, of the found, one of the founding members, the other, other two have passed away, but one of the founding members is a serious su supporter of, of the activities I'm, co I'm currently involved in and is giving me so much insight and knowledge and wisdom and support because he, he also wants us to, re to regain our industry and take it back to where it should be. <laughs> It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, so last, la last, last thing on these guys before I move, move, move into some t statistics. Because I was personally inspired by this sto story a hell of a lot, um, we, s we started recording a documentary about, about these guys because I think it's, imp it's important that our, com our community and our young people are, are, ab are able to have a, fact a factual historical doc document that shows how things have have. have Turn, I've turned that as they, they are, and to be inspired by the entrepreneurial spirit of, of, of these legendary pioneers. The, document, the documentary should be out early 2019, so l l look out for it. It's called The Legends of Afro Hair and Beauty. Right, okay. The situation is called red. In, ca in case you didn't know, the situation right now in, term in terms of Afro hair and beauty is called red. Okay, so right, right, right now the documentary is being edit edited and once it's done we've got a, num a number of platforms including one that's on Sky that's interested in screening our, doc our, our, our documentary. So it should be a big, a big deal, definitely. Okay, so, okay, so, um, cold red means a state of emergency. It, it means red. It means red, red alert, hot. <laughs> time for ac time for action. Okay, the main, the mainstream indus industry, believe it or not does not appreciate your pounds. The mainstream, for <laughs> the, the mainstream industry does not appreciate the money that you spend. They, they do not see you as a viable, desirable, attractive, beautiful customer. This is, this is why for many years we've been ignored in boots. <laughs> Shut out of Tony and Guy. <laughs> can't, can't find a home in Sainsbury's for love or money. It's, be, it's because they don't care. Some, some people find this, some people find, find this annoying, frustrate, frustrating. I've had loads of com conversations with people up and down, up and down the country. Why don't they show us no love? Blah, 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 blah. We spend, we buy. I'm here to tell you to, today, forget it. Forget it. If we, if we want to supply products, we need to do it our, ourselves. Yeah. And it's a wonderful opportunity to do it. If they're, if they're ignoring us, then that's, that's a fantastic opportunity for us to open up our own stores, our own outlets, get on with lines, start organizing groups, parties to buy products and stuff that we, that, that we need. Let's not look towards the mainstream to, to, to solve our issues. Because if we do, we'll be, we'll be waiting a long time and our hair might get mighty dry. <laughs> there, are no, there are also no major, major, major leaders at the moment in this space. Can, can, can anyone name sort of like a mega brand that, that every, everybody loves and appreci appreciates at the moment? Oh, that's black, that's black owned too. 
Okay. I'm here to give you another surprise then in that, in that case. If, if, if that's the only one that we know and, know and appreci appreciate, Shea Moisture is no longer black owned. They sold it, which is fine. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so, so time, time is against us, but okay, I'm, I'm going to push on and get straight, straight into, into some slides and some stats about where we, can, we currently are and what, what the opportunities are. But, my, but my, my, my main point is that there is a massive op opportunity, and I would, I, would, uh, I would encourage every single, single person here to get, in, get involved in, build, in building our industry. We have the power. We can quit our jobs and start do, doing something for ourselves if, if we apply ourselves and not have to work like rats in a cage to get by. There's, there's a billion-pound opportunity there. Okay, some quick, some, some quick stats. Every, everyone's, heard, everyone's heard this stat, right? Black, black women spend six times as more, blah, 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 great. That is a fact, it's true. I don't, I don't think anyone has really sat down to do the maths so we, uh, we understand what, what, that, what that means. There are three million of us black, black, pe black or mixed race people in this country. 1.5 of them, half, half of them are Fem are, fem are female. That means, on, on that basis alone, if, if we spend six times as, as much as any other people in, 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 in this country, 1.5 million people times six is nine million in spending power. Nine million. This is, this is a fact that the, the, in the industry has, has ignored because they don't understand how we operate, what we need, and blah, 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 blah. But for us, once, once again, this is a tremendous opportunity to take, adva take advantage of. And it's not, not just here. If that's, that's just in the UK. So think about the States, think about the West, the West Indies, think about Africa. This, this, is, a ma this is a massive, massive op op opportunity. Where's, your, where's the money that you're, spend, you're spending going to? Need we say more, right? You, you put it in, and someone else is enjoying the fruits of your hard, your hard work. How long can this go on, go on for? How, how, seriously, 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 how long can we keep doing what, doing what, we, what we do and expect, expecting something to be different? It makes no sense. hundred and fifty. Million. This is a big. This is a big number. Big, big number. Big number. Number. I'm here to tell you today. This is what the store packs makes from our community. Community every year. One hundred and fifty million pounds. Minimum. What could what could this do for our community? What could this do for you? <laughs> 150 million pounds a year from one from one group is enough to make everyone in this room very wealthy indeed is it is it uh, am i d deluded here or what what am i making sense this this is one shop let's let's not talk about beauty queens and this one and that and that one when we add when we add them up we're talking about a billion pound operation here right right on right under our nose our nose our, our nose which we don't have a stake in I think it's about a change of mindset. That's, 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 that's all it is. We can, we, can turn it, we can turn this around within five to, ten, five to ten, 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 ten years. This thing could be changed around if and as we choose to, to get involved and start, start participating, being on, entrepreneurial, and at worst, support, support, supporting others that are out there doing, doing great things like some of the great brands that are here today. I don't think I'm, I'm going to get much, much time to touch on this, but um, some of the products you currently buy from these stores have got dangerous chem chemicals within, within them. They're not safe, and once again, most of them are not owned by pe people from your community, although they seem to, to be. I would tell, tell you today, 90% of the, the products in the shops are not black-owned, if not a bit more. So just, just, just imagine that, and it makes sense to, to why they've got dangerous, Dangerous chemicals in them because the people who make them 
don't really care about you, your hair, your life, what's going on with, with you. They don't really care. It's, it, all, all they're worried about is about make, making a pound note and, and doing, doing what they've got to do. Solutions, very quick, very quickly. What can we do to turn this around? This, ni this nightmare must come to an end. I'm here to tell you that you are responsible. Everyone in, in this room is responsible for what happens next. Let's, 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 let's not give it another, another 10 years, 20 years, and our children and our grandchildren will be here talking about the same thing. Oh, how, you know, how, how did this happen? How, how, how come I still live in the council, in the council estate? Like, wow, this, per this person that was next, next door to me 20 years ago lives, lives, lives in a mansion. We cannot carry on like this, and we've got a fantastic opportunity to change this around. A couple, couple, couple of quick ways that we can do this, starting from today, are on the board. I, I would encourage everybody here to, to, to participate, get, get involved. This, these are simple, actionable steps. And if you would like to find out more about what, what we're currently doing at Hair Care Revolution and Afro Hair and Beauty Association to, to make some changes, please do come and have a word with me after this is done. I have been Mr. O.V. King. You have been absolutely amazing. My contact, the, my con I, 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 I am wanted by the hair, hair and beauty industry, by the way. <laughs> They don't like what I, they don't like what I say. So, <laughs> but I'm, I'm I'm saying it, and I'm I'm being invited up and down the country from here to Glasgow to Glasgow to come and speak about what what needs to be done. And I will continue to do it as long as I can draw breath. My information is on the board. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. We're gonna take one question, and then. Okay, we got time for one question. Who had a hand up? Hi. I'm taking, your, I'm taking the speaker's microphone. This is not a good idea. I'm taking the speaker's microphone. Thank you, Ovi, for your um, presentation. Pers Personally, um, what you've touched on has been an issue for me. Just even simple things like in my local area, you'll go to those kind of hair shops, they'll give you bad service, an attitude or whatever. But that, that's a separate issue and I am doing something about it because I also am not happy about it. But the question that I have is, I have seen a trend for some of the black owned um, products that have started, it appears that they get to a point and then they either have to sell or share a part of their business. Do you, do you have any ideas as to what goes on that it means that they can't seem to break through that glass ceiling and go all the way because it's not just sheer moisture i can't think of the other brands in my head but there are other brands as well that have had to either sell or or share shares in their business as well Okay, that, that that was a fantastic question, and in in answer to in answer to that, can can you hear me? Okay, the quest the question was what what can basically be done to ensure that some of the great brands that are are out there, and there are some that are black owned, how 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 can we sort of help them, or what can they do to make to make sure that they're sustainable and long lasting? Because a lot of them get to get to a certain point and they sell out, basically, right? Okay, so in, in my own opinion, it's a case of education. We can never have a L'Oreal or a large significant brand like that if we don't have or understand the legacy. As soon as the, num the, num the numbers start to reach a certain point, we get, exci we get exci excited. I've never seen a check for 10 million pounds before. <laughs> I, what, what can I do? I can, go and sit on, I can go and sit on the beach, I can do this, that, and the other. This is an individu individualistic mentality which unfortun unfortunately a lot of us share. So, so we need to change the mindset. <laughs> and once we, change, once we change that mindset and, and understand that it's much, much more import important to be here in 50 years' time, being able to serve 
our, com our community, people will see brands that, that last. Thank, thank you very much. I am here sitting next to one of the only two male presenters on today's event family. This is brother Ovi. Greetings, bro. How are you doing? Greetings. Welcome to Got Kush TV. Thank you. Uh, you know what I mean? And it was, a, it was a pleasure to hear your, your presentation. I've heard you once before, but your presentation was a unique one in the context of this event because it focused on specifically on the, uh, the, the healthcare industry, yeah? And entrepreneurship, yeah? Specifically from our community in this particular field. You, re you revealed some statistics, yeah? And we want, I want to start here because you said that, how, how much is the, 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 the black healthcare industry worth in this country again? Okay, so, so there are no of official st statistics, but from doing re research and work, working out what individual companies are, are, are making, um, I estimate it to, to be worth about a billion pounds. Mm. A billion. And, and, and I saw another figure that said 150 million. Yes, that, that's, a that's actually just from one. That's what we know is made from one one store, own, store owner, which every, everyone knows, um, um, and they, they make, they're currently making about 150 m million pound a year from our community, which is insane. Now, we're, we're going to come back to that one, which everyone knows, all right? But before we get there, um, Daikon Dryden, yeah? Because many of us may have heard of Daikon Dryden, and I certainly have, um, uh, but many of us may not have. And I know that some people be, actually think that Daikon Dryden was actually a, US, a black U.S. company. Um, now, let's, let's give our viewers a little bit of the history of Daikon Dryden. There's a, there's a small snippet. Okay, so Daikon Dryden were actually from North, Lon North, North London. There were... Three guys from that part of the country. From, from that part of the country, um, they started selling hair and beauty products in the 60s, um, which, if, if you think about it, was a very long to long time ago. And they 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 went on to have a massive massive success. The first black UK millionaires in Britain. Um, a lot of people a lot of people don't know what their legacy is and the the actual Im impact that they've had um, in in this country. And just just not in the hair and beauty in industry, but in business in general, these guys were the best of the the best distribution networks in and around the country and, and around the world. Um, they they helped DH, DH, DHL when DHL was actually a start a startup company in Britain. They made DH, DH, DHL they were DHL's biggest cust customer and made them get. To where they are at, at at this stage stage in time by giving them all this business and this custom. All right, now one one two two institutions yeah in the black community. I say in the black community. I say that tongue in cheek yeah. That people may not know yeah that Dak and Dryden Brothers started. They're still alive as well, isn't it? No, there's 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 um two two of them have have sadly passed away, but there's one of them who's who's left alive, Mr. Tom, Mr. Tony Wade. Okay. And he's he's based in Jamaica, Jamaica, but comes back back and forth, yeah. But the Afro hair, are we learned today that the Afro hair and beauty show, yeah, was started by Dak and Dryden. But also, yeah, the what one of the main stores that we frequent, yeah, as African people tend to frequent, going to buy products for our hair is Pax, yeah. And brother Ovi said today that it was actually the, the Dak and Dryden company that started. Packs. Many of us may not know that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So just speak a little bit about that because none of these institutions are owned in our community today. Mm -hmm. This, this is this is this this is a, a fact that I love. I love to drop this fact because I, many people of all of all ages don't don't know the history. Don't know the history of this. Before Pack, Pack used to be a one a one man operation operation in a store like a, a small a small shop selling products on the floor and <laughs> like. 30 years, 30 years ago, while Dyke, while Dyke, while Dyke and Dryden had had these huge, huge stores, Wood, Wood Green, Hackney, yeah. the, the pack stores that you see then now were origi originally black owned and originally owned by Dyke and Dryden. Even the Birmingham store that they've got yeah. was owned okay. by, by, by them. So mass, massive, massive pioneers. All right. So basically what it is now is that these things are not owned by us anymore. Yes. And so last and finally, how is it? And what is the work that you're doing in terms of trying to ensure that we regain control over our hair care industry in this country? Okay, so um, I think it's important that we we build we build brands. We've we've got a, a lot of amazing people in our community who 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 make stuff at home, 
and what what they tend to lack is the the skills, the expertise, and the network to to get some some of these brands out out there. So that's that's one of the things we do is is help and support emerging brands. Um, another, another thing we do is 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 um, host regular hair, hair and beauty events. Our, our, our hair and beauty events is called called hair, hair care revolution and that that is a platform that the best the best brands can come to and showcase what they have direct to the community All right, cool. yeah. and where, where can people find you if they want to know more about what it is that you're doing okay so so we are on it's we're on instagram hair, hair care revolution check it out we have a website afrohaircare.co.uk we're on facebook and I'm I'm quite I'm quite a, a legend on what's on WhatsApp. So 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 ask asking any group where like stick up a Batman sign, hair, hair care revolution. Con contact me and some somebody will send me the message. All right. Yeah. You had it here first. Kings and queens join the hair care revolution. We're here with the king. OV, kings and queens. And now I mean welcome to Got Kush TV. As I said, it's Got Kush TV, and you ain't got nothing if you ain't got Kush.